What up, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS. Welcome back to another Madden 17 video. Today, we're going to go on ahead, excuse me, and take a look at the two brand new cards that were released today that are flashbacks, and both of them being some of the higher overalls in their positions. One of them being a Schwartz 91 right tackle, and I thought for sure that they were going to release flashback packs, but today. Uh, they did not. They went ahead and uh, dropped some Game Changer Packs. A uh, 7 Game Changer Pack bundle with one signature topper. And this right here uh, just doesn't really interest me. So I'm not going to go on ahead and pick these up. I'm just going to let these pass on until the weekend. And we'll see if the packs on, on the weekend are, uh, you know, any good, including the toppers. Because, you know, my coins are definitely good to be able to get any cards that come out this weekend and not have to get the packs. So... Uh, we'll see, but, um, yeah, so I thought, again, I, I was, like, really, really certain, I was like, damn, it's been a while since the bundle actually landed on Thursday, and there were going to be a new one, and, uh, I knew there was going to be a new bundle today, and I thought for sure it was going to be flashbacks, but unfortunately not, and I'm saying that because I really, really, really want the card that's in the set, and that is the 91 Schwartz, and, uh, unfortunately, it, there's none on the auction block, and it's going to be a while before there's any because you got to go on ahead and get all of his uh, <clears throat> his collectible pieces, which are not going to be easy to pull. And um, I believe I looked, and there was only one out of the five available, and that one was going for 200k. So this is what you're dealing with whenever you don't have the card. That well, I mean, whenever you don't have a flashback bundle and the card comes out that Thursday. And um, whatever belongs in the set, yeah, it might be a few days before you actually see one on the auction block. I believe this is the only one that was available for 200k. Yeah, this is one out of the five is up, so um, <clears throat> definitely uh, pretty expensive. And I'm actually looking into getting a new right tackle right now. I have Juwan James, and he's just there basically for chemistry reasons. That Schwartz has zone blocking chem. And uh, I picked up uh, James because of the bruiser back chemistry. But uh, without him, I still have tier 2 unlocked. Because I have uh, O'Smelly, who I was able to get assembly um, due to the milestones. And I was able to just uh, put my 92 overall card and make him into a dual chemistry and get the bruiser back. So there, there's one bruiser back and then there's two because of shields. And then Amon Green has doubled Bruiser back. And then Strong has one as well. And James. So I have six. You know, I, I could have Bruiser back damn near tier three going to lock. So I definitely want a, a different right tackle. <clears throat> but that uh, zone blocking chem that he has, uh, you know, benefits a few other uh, offensive linemen, you know, tier two. You know, it, it benefits Assembly and also uh, benefits uh, Unger. So, um I was thinking about getting the 90 overall um, right tackle from the Patriots. I can't think of his name right now. I'm drawing a blank. Um, all he has is the New England chemistry. But um, So, anyways, nonetheless, the uh, card that's available for uh, 48 hours, the limited card, <coughs> is a Sean Smith. We're going to go ahead and take a look at him. He's a 92 overall cornerback. And... We're going to go ahead and take a look at him. Let me make sure I pick one from the bottom. That way I know I don't have to worry about it expiring as I'm uh, looking through it. So, uh, first thing you notice right away is six foot three. Great height. Really, really, really good height. Should help with being able to jump up, bat passes down, uh, not have to worry about dealing with taller receivers going up over, you know, these Mike Evans, Randy Moss, these really tall receivers, he can do a, uh, he should be able to do a pretty good job of getting up there and batting passes down. So that's really, really good um, in his favor. Six foot three, good height. 88 speed, though, I'm not really liking that, especially, I mean, I know a lot of receivers that are coming out, I mean, they're still kind of withholding the speed in this game. Like, you think about it last year during the Blitz promo, you know, uh, they had the signature packs. And who was in the signature packs? We had 97 Tony Gonzalez, 98 Ed Reed. 
And this year, we still only have a handful of 95 overall cards. You know, Team of the Weeks are still 91 overall. Flashbacks are still being 91 overall. And they're being very frugal with the overalls this year. But receivers are starting to be 91 speed, 92 speed. Like, got nothing too crazy yet. We're not dealing with anybody 95 speed or anything like that yet. Um, but 88 speed is just... Uh, it's tough to deal with considering majority of receivers that are coming out the good ones anyways that people are using uh are going to be 91 speed 92 speed <coughs> like that so a uh, little worried about his speed i definitely would prefer my cornerback at this point to have at least about 90 and even then i'm still a little worried if i'm going up against a moss or brandon cooks but which a lot of people seem to have but, um, you know, still, eh, you know, he can keep up, but uh, just makes me a little worried. I'd, I'd much rather be safer with a 90, you know, speed uh, cornerback. Uh, 91 acceleration, so good acceleration, very good agility. And you definitely want your corners to have agility so they can go on ahead and, you know, stop, turn on a dime, be able to play those out routes, be able to uh, just very quickly, you know, turn around and, and be able to defend a pass and things like that. So his agility is good. Uh, 86 man coverage would definitely like to see that higher as well, considering he's one of the higher overall cornerbacks in the game. 92 overall, I, I believe, makes him a top five, if not top six overall in the game. And you know, you want him to be able to play coverage. That's what you get, that's what you get your cornerbacks for coverage. You want them to be able to cover, and you want them to be able to cover well. Um, even though majority of people play zone, and uh, I too myself play a ton of zone, but Whenever you do play man, you you just would like to have you know some good man coverage. And eighty six is definitely uh, a little low considering he's one of the higher overalls in the game available. Uh, Ninety one zone coverage, great, great zone coverage with great agility. I can definitely see him playing you know some passes very well with that zone and agility. Ninety four press is base. He's going to be able to jam the hell out of you, be able to keep you on that line, and unless you have top tier release going up against this card more often than not he should win the battle and be able to keep you on that line and throw you off of that route majority of the time and that's definitely a, a very 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 good thing press is something that i would like to think is underrated man not too many people look into press i mean i definitely do but press is something that can uh change the entire uh, outcome of a play you know, if your main route you're looking for is on the left side and, you know, you got somebody and they're just jammed at that line and they get pressed really, really, really well, um, then it could just throw your, your whole timing off. And next thing you know, you're waiting for them to get off that line and they can't and you end up taking a sack because you're still waiting for that route to be a press is definitely important. And this press is amazing. 90 play rec, really, really good. 74 catching. Not the best, but I don't see him, you know, a lot. every card in this game drops passes. You know, we all got to deal with drop passes. We all got to deal with uh, things like that. So, you know, I've had Kraus with amazing catching drop passes, you know, interception. It, it happens. You know, 74, is, he's just as good as anybody else. So, uh, the only thing to really worry about, in my opinion, from the cards that I've been able to use and from what I see, majority of the cards I'm going up against, is going to be his speed and uh, man coverage. Uh, let's take a look at his block shedding. 55, so not really uh, not really sure how much of a factor he's going to be in the run game. Uh, 55 doesn't seem like the best. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at his hit power. Um, I probably passed it already. I'm terrible with finding these damn things. They just need to alphabetize this stuff, man. Oh, here we go. 75 hit power is pretty good. Um, anybody around this hit power is is pretty good for a cornerback. You know, good enough to go on ahead and really just jar the ball loose for an incomplete pass. You know, when I look at hit power, when I see Night Train Lane with 91, when I see Mel Blunt with 89 and you know sean taylor with you know the 95 that he has i'm already thinking of them going on ahead and jarring 
the ball loose for incomplete passes. I mean, fumbles are very difficult to make happen unless you're me and you're running the ball. I fumble way too damn much. But for the most part, causing fumbles doesn't happen too often. But you best believe a clean hit when you try to get your pass off will definitely force an incomplete pass. And that's what I, you know, really look at when I see um, when I see hit power. So let me go on ahead and give you guys his traits and then we're going to jump into the attributes of the 91 overall right tackle Schwartz who I definitely uh, want to get so uh, Sean Smith we're going to go on ahead and take a look at his traits which is definitely uh, another important aspect of a card clutch no big hitter no plays ball in air aggressive so if you leave him you know by himself He's going to go on ahead and, you know, do a pretty good job of playing the ball in the air. You definitely would, in my opinion, <clears throat> for not clicking on, I would prefer aggressive over conservative. Um, but his his traits are not really good. Strips ball, no high motor, no. So, uh, no clutch, no big hitter just means he's not going to be able to. I'm not even sure what clutch just really factors on i'm not sure if it was yes if it's all of a sudden he just starts playing passes better in fourth quarter under two minutes in the game is decided by three points or less i'm not sure but big hitter i just know that he's not going to manually give you those big hit sticks um high motor no and strips ball no and penalty is is disciplined so now we're going to uh, talk about the 91 overall shorts like i said unfortunately his card is not available on the auction block and it's going to be a while before we see one but his zone blocking chemistry also goes with power run chemistry. And he has 65 speed, 90 strength, 91 awareness. As a matter of fact, let me go to my right tackle here so we can uh, take a look at the right tackle that I have now. And we can compare him to uh, short. So let's go on ahead and jump right into that. Uh, let's go to Juwan James. Let's compare. Okay, so... Um, he has 65 speed, 78 acceleration. This is Swartz I'm talking about. 90 strength, 91 awareness, 68 agility, 87 stamina, uh, 90 run block, 92 pass block. So he already has more run block and pass block than James. And he also has zone blocker chemistry. So you're going to be able to add another run block and impact block on top of another run block and impact block. So you're going to be able to add plus two impact block and two run blocks. So Schwartz with tier two zone blocking is going to have 94 run block with 88 impact block on top of uh, 90 pass blocking and also add one to a strength. So it'll be 91 strength. So uh, definitely a very, very, very good looking card. So looking forward to getting him uh, hopefully for a decent price. Again, I was hoping for flashback packs to go ahead and make him more accessible. But unfortunately, because he's not, um, not because he's not, unfortunately, because there is not any flashback packs, uh, might be a while before we see any. Um, let me take a look really quickly at um, <coughs> the uh, right tackle from the... Uh, Patriots, Vomer, there you go, okay, so his price has dropped a little bit, considering there's a new right tackle out, so uh, Vomer has uh, more strength with 93 over the uh, 90 over Schwartz, uh, run blocking is 89, and uh, Schwartz has uh, 92, so Schwartz has better run blocking, and better pass blocking with 90, where Schwartz has, I mean, uh, Vomer has a 86. Um, so, yeah, definitely want that Schwartz, definitely. But that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed Let me know what are you guys' thoughts and opinions on the two new flashbacks that dropped today. See your boy, GSML. We'll see you guys next video. Peace!